der Block Lab. In this video, we will learn how to use the Block Lab for programming Dash. In the previous videos, we learned to control Dash either directly or by using programming blocks. Now it is the right time to do some serious programming. This video is a bit longer, but after viewing it, you will know all that is necessary about programming Dash. Let's turn Dash on and launch the Block Lab. At the top right corner, you will see the connection indicator. When the dots stop circling, then Dash is ready for play. If you forgot to turn on Dash, then a plus sign will appear at the top right corner of the screen. Turn the robot on and press the plus sign and then the robot sign. Now press on the orange triangle in the middle of the screen. And let's start. When you run the app for the first time, then there are puzzles for you to solve. There are a total of 13 puzzles and they help you learn to use the Blockly app. Later you will find the puzzles under the programming desktop that opens when pressing the three dots at the top left corner of the screen. Let's open the first puzzle, Driving School. First we learn that the button down left is for running programs. Let's press the button and the first program appears consisting of two program blocks. The first block, colored green, says when start. All green blocks are used to start something. Programming blocks snap together. The second, orange colored block is labeled transport Dash's engine. This block makes Dash sound like a car engine. Orange colored blocks are used to make sounds. Let's press the button at the bottom left corner of the screen. It worked. We received a new task to teach Dash to move forward. Let's open the task. We need to take the dark green block that says forward 50 fast and drag it below the light screen when start block. The dark green color is for the blocks that make Dash move. Touching the block with your finger will open a window that allows you to change the speed and the moving distance. Let's us check that Dash has 50 cm of clear space ahead and run the program. <laughs> And it worked. Next, we will teach Dash to move backward. For that, we will choose the drive section from the controls menu at the left, and from there we will drag the programming block backward 50 normal to the light green when start block. Let's run the program now. It worked. The next challenge is to make a program that makes Dash drive forward, backward, and forward again out of the several blocks randomly placed on the screen. Let's put the blocks in order and run the program. Now we will learn how to delete blocks. We need to delete the turn left blocks from the program, allowing Dash to turn right two times in a row using the turn right block. Keep your finger on the turn left block until a yellow frame appears. Then drag the block to the bin located at the bottom right corner of the screen. Done. Let's run the program. The next challenge is to delete the turn left block from the middle of the program, allowing Dash to turn right four times in a row using the turn right block. We grab the turn left block and drag it to the clear area of the screen. Then we grab the first block below the turn left block and drag the block back to the program. And finally we drag the turn left block that now has no other blocks connected to the bin. Let's run the program now. Done. In the next challenge we need to make Dash turn its head to the left, to the right and then to the front. All these programming blocks are located in the section called Look. At first we'll take the Look block that is marked with left. Then we will take the same left block again, but this time touch the block and drag the direction arrow to the right. Now we will take the same block again, but change its direction to forward. Done. Let's run the program. It worked. In the next challenge we need to arrange the blocks in such a way that Dash would drive forward, look to the left, turn to the left and then look forward. Run the program. Okay. 
For the next challenge we need to make all of Tash's lights glow red and turn green. Let's drag the dark purple blocks to the correct positions. Dark purple colored blocks are light blocks. In the next challenge we need to make Tash drive forward, then turn all of its lights red, then green, then look to the left, turn to the left and then look forward. Drag the correct blocks to the program. Run the program. In the penultimate challenge we teach Tash to nod its head and say hi. From the look section we will drag the lookup block, touch the block for opening the selection window and drag the pointer to look down. Now we will take another look block but without changing anything and then we will take a third one in which we will drag the pointer straight. Finally we will drag the say dash high block from the sound section to the end of the program and run the program. And now we only have one more challenge to complete school puzzle. Let's teach Tash to blink its eye. It is good that the program is already almost ready. You only need to change one eye block. Touch it to go to the selection window. Change all of the LEDs to black. And run the program now. It worked. The long long puzzle is now completed. Now it's your turn. Complete the challenge on the screen and see you in the next video. Challenge. Launch the block layout. Choose the school road puzzle and complete as many challenges as you are able to. Did you hold on until the end? If it was too easy, then continue practicing with next puzzles.